So next program is uh, again we have a commission problem, the same program uh, which is discussed in uh, lab program 2 video. Just go to the video and here uh, again we are using uh, decision table uh, uh, testing approach uh, for uh, generating the test cases for commission problem. Now, test case name as usual, you have to write uh, decision table for uh, commission problem, experiment number, and test data. So, we have log stocks and barrels. What is the cost for each log stock and barrel? It is given. And how to calculate the sales? Uh, so, sales will be total lock into lock price, single lock price, total stock into stock price, plus total barrels into barrel. Price. Now, for the commission calculation, it is 10% up to the sales, rupees 1000, 15% up to the sales for the next 800, and 20% on any sales in excess of 1800. So, that is what uh, the test data we are taking, and the precondition that is uh, lock is equal to minus 1 to exit the while loop. So, this is just because. Uh, uh, this indicates that uh, the salesperson should short, uh, stop uh, selling the lock stocks and barrels and it should report to the gunsmith for the calculation of sales and commissions. So, that is what the lock is equal to minus 1 indicates. Now, and uh, what are the total locks and stocks and barrels he can sell in the month so that is uh, 70 logs 80 stocks and 90 barrels so description will be the salesperson had to sell uh, at least one complete rifle per month one complete rifle in the sense uh, one stock one lock one barrel minimum it is and maximum as i told uh, what is uh, maximum count for each lock stocks and uh, barrels now he has to calculate the commission once he gets with uh, gets finishes with the one month. Now this is the input data decision table. So here you can see what are the different uh, input data we are uh, taking. That is log stock, uh, barrel, and total logs, total stocks, total barrels, and we are calculating the sales and commission. So these are the different test data. So with respect to that, we need to write the conditions and the actions. Now, what are the conditions? So here you can see the first condition that is logs is equal to minus one. That is, it has done with the uh, selling part now he he is ready to calculate the what are the total logs total stocks and barrels and sales and then finally the commission now next c2 condition it is for the boundary they have set a boundary for uh, number of logs and number of stocks and number of barrels that is 1 to 70 1 to 80 and 1 to 90 so total we have four condition and each condition has two two values that is either true or false so you have to do two into two into two into two so total it will be 16 rules 16 rules but after reducing the unnecessary and don't care condition we just have uh, nine rules now what are the different actions now action one terminate the input loop whenever this satisfied the c1 condition satisfies then you need to terminate the input loop next is uh, for the with respect to the second uh, condition we have invalid locks with respect to the third condition we have invalid stocks and with respect respect to the fourth condition we have invalid barrels now after this we are going to calculate if it is uh, uh, it comes out of the loop if c1 uh, uh, c1 satisfies then we can calculate uh, total locks total stocks and sales and using this information uh, the gunsmith will calculate the uh, sales total sales and finally proceed to the commission decision table that was there in the next decision table now come to the rule one 
so in the rule one we have uh, first condition is satisfied that first condition is satisfied that means uh, the sales person finished with the, this month once he finished with the, this month he can calculate what are the total log stocks and barrels and he can calculate the sales and he can calculate the commission so once this is uh, correct action one is performed it will terminate the input loop it will not take any more input and it will calculate total log stocks and uh, barrels so that's why he'll uh, put cross mark here then calculate the sales and finally it will calculate the commission next come to the rule two in rule two logs is equal to minus one that means it will not come out of the loop he has not yet finished with this month so again he can try now after that we have uh, for condition two it is true that is yes logs it is uh, in the range 1 to 70 again uh, we have a condition three that is true so uh, this is also it is in the range 1 to 80 now come to barrels it is 1 to 90 it is false that means uh, they are telling the value of barrel it is out of the boundary so whenever it is out of the boundary you should tick here invalid barrels input next similarly for uh, you have to write for stocks the locks and barrels true and stocks it is wrong so invalid stocks these two are true and logs it is false so invalid logs now come to this true logs is true and other two it is false that is invalid stocks invalid barrels so invalid stock invalid barrels and in each of these cases you have to calculate the You have to calculate this uh, total log stocks and barrels because uh, it is out of the boundary means uh, either uh, that boundary is over okay or he has uh, uh, no more uh, barrels or the stocks in uh, with him so that is what they mean so once that is uh, indirectly they mean to say they are finished with the sales uh, and they can uh, compute the total log stocks and barrels but he cannot uh, compute the sales uh, for that your uh, my first condition must be satisfied so similarly for each input by looking at the conditions when it is true calculate uh, total log stocks and barrels and keep whenever this is uh, this condition is true it will calculate the sales and commission but here you can see in other cases it is false so once whenever it is false you cannot tick for sales and commission if you want to calculate the sales the first condition must be now this is for input data these are the actions are the conditions for input data now come to as I told here, you can see A7. Proceed to the commission decision table. Now, for commission decision table also, there are few rules. Okay. So, what are those? Now, here you can see the first condition that is sales is equal to 0. That is one condition. And uh, C1, again, you have uh, uh, sales which is greater than 0 and sales which is less than or equal to 1000 so sales 0 to 1000 next 1001 to 1800 and the third is sales which is greater than 1801 so these are the four uh, conditions and again each of these will have uh, either true or false so total 16 but after reducing you will be having only four rules now actions terminate the input loop a to commission 10 percent sales when you will give the 10 percent sale and commission 10 percent for first thousand and the other uh 
for the other sales it is 15000 next in the fourth action 10% for the thou, uh, uh, first 1000 15% for the next 800 and then sales minus 1000 how much remains for that you have to give 20 Percent. So in journal from 0 to 1000 it is 10 percent from 1001 to 1800 it is 15 percent if it is more than 1800 then it is 20 percent. Now come to rule 1. Rule 1 sales is equal to true uh, sorry sales is equal to 0 is true. Now we have 0 sales. So terminate the rule. It is of no use. If there is no sale, no commission. Next, sales is equal to say first condition. Sales is equal to 0 is false. But condition 1 is true. Whenever condition 1 is true, see here you can see in the condition 1, it is sales from 0 to 1000. Whenever it is 0 to 1000, how much uh, commission you have to give? That is 10%. So click on 10% or put a cross mark on 10%. Now, first two conditions are failed. Come to the third condition. So in the third condition, the what they mean to say is it is from 1001 to 1800. So it is for the next 800. For the next 800, it is 15% of commission. So you have, here you have to Put a cross mark. Similarly, here in the rule 4, the other 3 are false and uh, last condition 3 is uh, true. So, that is for the last action that is which is more than 1800, you have to put a cross mark in you have to put the cross mark in last action that is a4 so this is the commission calculation so commission calculation decision table can be done you can write this only when with the precondition log is equal to minus 1 log is equal to minus 1 now come to the uh, test cases part using these two decision table you have to write the test cases for both now, precondition, initial value of the total logs, stocks and barrels is 0 and limit, precondition limit, that is total number of uh, logs, stocks and barrels, it should not exceed 70, 80, 90 respectively. So, this is the precondition limit given. Now, for the first decision table that is decision table for input data you have to write the decision table and the first value or the first condition it was for log is equal to minus 1 so whenever the log is equal to minus 1 terminate the input loop check for sales if sales is equal to 0 exit from the program else calculate the commission so here whenever this uh, logs is minus 1 so it will start calculating the sales and the commission so it will check whether the sales uh, it is 0 or it is greater than it greater than 0 if it is 0 no need to calculate the commission for 0 sales 0 commission right ok so next is uh, if it is greater than 0 so in that time it has to calculate the commission next enter the valid input for log and stock and invalid for barrels now here in these three okay we have uh, three variables three inputs that is logs stocks and barrels so in each test case here we have to give the invalid value for barrels and in this case invalid value for uh, stocks and in the third that is uh, in the fourth test case we have to give invalid value for logs and we have has to display the message with respect to that it is not in a range next here enter the valid input for log 
and invalid value for stocks and barrels. So here in this second test case, third test case, fourth case, test case, you are uh, giving one input, a uh, one invalid input. But here in this, you have to give two invalid input at a time. So invalid value here for logs, uh, stocks and barrels, we have invalid values. And in this case, uh, we have for locks and barrels. And here we have for uh, locks and stocks. Okay. Next, enter the invalid input for locks, stocks, and barrels. And uh, once we finish with one invalid and two invalid, next come to three invalid values. So, respected message must be displayed. And enter the valid input for all. So, whenever this is all values are invalid. So, particular message must be displayed. And here all values are valid. So, it has to calculate the total log stocks and uh, barrels with the precondition limit. And it has to calculate the sale and finally the commission. That is for your uh, input test cases. Next, come to uh, decision table test cases for the commission calculation. So, here uh, there are three varieties of commission calculation. As I told, 10%, 15%, and 20%. And I'll, you can calculate the commission only when sales, is, sales gra must be greater than zero. So, in the first condition, what you are you're checking the value of the sales so here initially you are giving the sales as zero so terminate the program where commission is also zero now come to the second condition so in the second uh, test case uh, you have to give the input such that uh, the first commission value that is uh, the value the commission value uh, the sales value it must be less than thousand so that is why you are giving uh, 900 so it will calculate the commission as 10% commission into 90 for the sales and come to the third test case in that case you have to give the value such that it must be between 1000 to 1800 so you are giving 1400 so for that 15% uh, commission calculation next to the fourth one that is 2500 that is which is more than your uh, 1800 so the third case that is 20%. Okay. Along with this, yeah, it is not like oh, for all the values you are calculating the giving the 20%. If it is 2000, for the first 1000, you will get 10% of uh, commission. And for the next 8000, you will get 15% uh, of the commission. So, so total it is uh, 1800 here. So, out of 2500, Okay, that is the total sale 2500 minus 1800 remains. So that is uh, 700, around 700. So only for that 700, you will get 20% of the commission. So this is what about the commission calculation using decision table approach. Thank you.